Hello! My name is Bethany and I am a naturalist here at Tamarack and I'm also a storyteller and it's Turtle Week. I really like turtles. Today's story has variations from Japan and from India but my variation is my own. This is my version. Turtle loved nothing more than to do impressive things and shout, Look at me! Before he jumped into the pond to make very impressive splashes, he'd shout, Look at me! When he was running in races with other turtles, Look at me! When he was flipping in the pond underwater, Look at me! That one was harder to understand because he was under. Turtle was very impressive, but he wasn't always that much fun to be around. When you went to play with Turtle, you ended up watching Turtle more than playing with him. and That was disappointing. One day, a pair of cranes moved into the wetland next to the pond where Turtle lived, and Turtle was amazed. They were just so tall. And they had beautiful red on their heads. They were graceful and they would dance along the edge of the pond together. Turtle decided that he would try dancing too. And he tried on land, but it didn't go so well. So he slid back into the water and danced alongside the cranes. He could zoom up. He could dive down. He could stretch out his neck and pull it back in. Dancing with the cranes became his favorite thing. And they danced together every day, the cranes on the land and the turtle in the pond. Turtle didn't even mind that no one was watching. He was enjoying himself so much. Soon enough, the days grew shorter and the leaves turned yellow and orange and red. And one day the cranes came up to Turtle and said, you know, we have to leave tomorrow. Leave? Why are you leaving? Well, Turtle, we fly south for the winter. Turtle thought about it and how much he'd miss dancing with his friends and can I come? Turtle, the crane said, we fly south for the winter. Turtle, you don't fly. Turtle went to sleep very disappointed that night. When the cranes came to say goodbye, one of them was carrying a large stick. Turtle, one of the cranes said, we thought of something. If I put my beak on this end of the stick, and the other crane said, and if I put my beak on this end of the stick, well, then you can grab on to the middle with your strong jaws and we'll fly you south for the winter with us. Turtle thought this was a perfect plan. He could dance with his friends all winter and come back to his family and friends in the summer. The cranes grabbed onto the stick. Turtle did too, and they had barely taken off when he saw his friends and family below him and shouted, Look at me! But when he shouted, he let go of the stick, and Turtle fell from the sky, fell off the stick, and landed on the ground. His friends and his family rushed over to help, helped him turn back over, but when they flipped him back over, he looked a little different. Where his shell had been perfectly smooth, now there were cracks in it. And his friends and his family helped tuck Turtle in to hibernate for the winter. When spring came, Turtle woke up, and Turtle still had those cracks in his shell. The cranes came back, and they all danced together all summer. And when it came time for fall, when it came time for winter, Turtle went to hibernate. The cranes flew south, and both were glad to see each other again the next spring. Today, 
turtles still don't fly. And they still look like they have cracks in their shells. Thanks for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you get the chance to go out and see some turtles this week. If you'd like to make our shadow puppets, you can cut them out and tell yourself a story on the driveway or on the sidewalk outside. Um, these will be in this week's Ramsey Reader if you'd like to do that. Thank you.